Right, so I thought I'd quickly run through with you how to do uh, mirroring effects in GIMP. Um, GIMP is pretty good, it's um, free and open source and it, it's just a fantastic uh, alternative to Photoshop. So what we're going to do is, uh, I'm just going to create a, a random sort of, uh, what I'm going to, this is actually going to be like my about.me page, but um, what I'm just going to do for the moment is just to sort of show you um, how you can actually use uh, use GIMP and mirroring. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag a picture of myself in here. So my ugly mug is going to come in here, um, and then we're going to go um, move that there in a minute. And then what we want to do is we just want to drag in another another version of that photo. Um, if it will actually let me do that, which is not letting me do. Uh, right click on that and we'll go duplicate layer, um, and then there we go done. So what we've done there, we've duplicated that layer. So what we'll do is we'll zoom right in. Uh, we'll zoom right in, make sure we can get this butted up right, pretty much right close up like that. Uh, there we go. So once we've done that, what we now need to do is we need to flip it and rotate it. So what we need to do is we need to go over here and we need to go to oop, there. Um, and we need to click that and we need to go 180. And we need to go hit rotate. So that's all very well and good, but it doesn't look very, um, very mirrored at all. So we need to go to the flip tool and go flip, and that's flipped. That's that done. So now what we need to do to create some mirroring effects here, we need to right click on the photo and we need to go um, add layer mask and uh, then we need to do white full opacity, that's fine. We need to go add on that. We need to make sure this black thing over here is selected, not the not that one, this one here selected. And then we need to go over to our gradient tool, so we've got that done and dusted. Um, and then we, what we want to do is we want to, I'm doing this completely wrong, FG, so foreground is transparent, that's what we're going to do. We also then want to flip that because obviously we're going from um, dark to light. So, And then what we need to do is basically we just um, use the um, use the mouse and just sort of line things up probably. Um, maybe make sure the, the angle is zero, I'd sort of like to do that. So I'm just going to, uh, that's not playing the game for me. Sort of that'll do, and that's basically so. What that's done now is actually that's sort of slightly mirrored it a bit and um, and reduced that, um, reduced the actual pictures. And we can do that again as well if we wanted, so we can do that again. So that's actually fade out even more. So that is basically how you mirror in GIMP.